Ayo got a new job. Ayo. After two years, she's going to be making 30400 a year, and after five years, she's making 34000 Assuming the raise is the same each year, which means we're using a line, the slope is the same all of the time. So, slope, you have to have y2 minus y1. Well, what's x and what's y? Well, there is a little hint right here that you're supposed to use x as years. But if it doesn't say, then x should be whatever comes first out of years and money. So does it does she get two years of experience first and then make 30,400? Or does she make the 30,400 first and after she's done that, then she has two years of experience? Well, in my opinion, this is going to be going first, and this is what would be determined second. So when we subtract y2 minus y1, that's going to be the dollars. 30,400 minus 34,000. And then the years are the x's. So now when I subtracted, I did this one first. I did 30,000 minus this, so I have to be consistent. 2 minus 5. So the top one minus the bottom, the top one minus the bottom. So that's going to be 3,600 negative over negative 3, or $1,200 is going to be the slope. So this is actually, if you label it, it's dollars for the top part, and 2 minus 5 is years. So that's her raise, $1,200 per year, $100 a month raise. And then find the y-intercept. So if you then find the equation of the line, we could use y equals mx plus b, where the m is the slope that goes right in front of the x. And in order to find out what b is, just take a pair of numbers like the first pair that's given, substitute that in. X is years, Y is money. Oops. Now she's making some money. Now she's making serious pain. There we go. Okay, so this is 2400 plus B. This is $30,400. And then just subtract 2400 from both sides. Subtract 2400 from both sides. Nice, the 400s are going to cancel. A 30 minus 2 is 28. So 28,000. 28,000 is the B. And then explain what that represents. Well, since the equation is y equals mx plus b, there we go. Since the equation is y equals mx plus b, what this says is if you substitute in a zero, then it's going to hit the y axis at 28,000. Or, in other words, the y intercept is the B. And then the slope is 1,200. So that means the starting salary was 28,000, and then it's going up at $1,200 per year. So $28,000 with the starting salary. I hope she really loves that job because 28,000 isn't much assuming that she has a college degree. That's not much. Okay, enough of my commentary. Bye.